Think about it if you just run a retail store. Do you want to just go out to the universe of people who live in the neighborhood and tell them about your store and ignore all the people who walked into your store? Or do you want to focus first on the people who walk into your store? Got to focus first on the people who walk into your store. Then it would be great if you knew everybody in your neighborhood who was planning to buy an oven. If you have an oven store, you want to go talk to those people. And then you probably want to go after everybody who's been researching kitchenware and ovens. Maybe they're not like right ready to buy, but they're showing intent to potentially purchase an oven. There are people who came to your store clearly interested in ovens. There are people who said, you know what? I'm going to buy an oven soon. And then there are people who are researching the best ovens and you need to target all three of those before you go put a oven billboard up to catch everybody who might be thinking about an oven. I can tell you the people are, who are of the highest intent to buy your products and services. They are the ones visiting your website. They are the ones who have projects and initiatives that they've identified that they are doing. And they are the ones who are researching your products and services on the B2B web that you just don't have any access to. So let me show you those people. By the way, when you're done with those people, of course, go after the rest of your tar total addressable market. Of course, target the broader group. We have all of the data on the rest of the group. But first, you cannot miss the people who walk into your store.